morning everyone Gina here and welcome back to my channel excuse my appearance um, it's literally like nine o'clock at night and I still needed to make an intro so today I'm sharing with you guys um, some dessert ideas for Christmas so I have a keto recipe for you guys but I also have a cookie recipe for you guys too something that is really helpful with me with meal planning with keto is making two meals out of my keto staple. So that is what you're going to see in this video. And this is actually a huge collab. So there's going to be a playlist, Vanessa from Lemonade Mom. She invited me into this dessert collaboration. So we're calling it the dessert extravaganza, I think it is. So there's tons of people involved. Check out the playlist. And Vanessa, thank you so much for inviting me in this. Um, something that a lot of people might not know about me is my biggest insecurity is a feeling left out. So Vanessa, thank you so much. Um, it just warmed my heart that you um, reached out to me for this. So <laughs> thank you so much. So definitely go and check out all the other ladies videos and let's get into baking. All right, you guys, so for this first recipe, you're only gonna need four ingredients. And an added bonus, this is a keto recipe. So this is vanilla cheesecake fat bomb. So you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. You're also gonna need some um, vanilla extract and some mini cupcake liners. I snagged those from Target. Um, there was some sort of sweetener I needed, but I didn't have it, and cream cheese. And these are the um, macros if you follow keto. So what you wanna do is add nine Nine ounces of cream cheese so it's one package and then an extra ounce and then you're going to add two tablespoons of um, vanilla extract into your mixer and then you want to go ahead and mix that together um, first so don't add your half and don't add your heavy cream yet just let the um, vanilla and cream cheese mix together and um, the recipe said to let this mix about two minutes so that is what I am doing and then I'm going to go ahead and add in two ounces of sugar-free vanilla coffee syrup. It called for this other sweetener. I didn't have it, but um, this is going to give the um, fat bombs some sugar. Now, I would even think that you could do maybe about one ounce, um, but two, up to you how sweet you want it. So go ahead and put in half a cup of heavy whipping cream and stir it around. And then you want to add in an additional half cup of heavy whipping cream. So in total, you're going to want um, two, in total, you're going to want one cup of heavy whipping cream. And this is what it's going to look like, you guys. It's, oh, I cannot wait to lick my fingers. Okay, so I just went ahead and lined this Pyrex dish with these mini cupcake liners. Now you're going to see a montage of me trying to figure out how to get this mixture in the cupcake liner. So first I tried a good old-fashioned tablespoon. So that worked for the first two tries. And then I thought to myself, okay, I don't have a piping bag. What do I have? I was going to use a crock pot liner, but then I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and use a good old-fashioned Ziploc baggie. So if you don't have a piping bag, a Ziploc bag is going to work just fine. All you need to do is put your batter inside of the Ziploc, cut a hole, and squeeze it out. But I'm not going to lie to you, these do not look the prettiest. So if you're doing Elf on the Shelf, you could definitely make this into like, I don't know, Elf poop. Um, snowman poop because um, honestly that's what it looks like it definitely does not look pretty at all and then by the end of this I was like screw it I'm just gonna go back and use a spoon and that's <laughs> what I ended up doing and then let these babies chill in the fridge for an hour so I had some extra mixture um, from the fat bomb so I went ahead and just turned it into some cream cheese frosting and then I just dressed this up a little bit more and added some um, like Christmas lights is what I was kind of going for. So I put some M&Ms on it and then just used a um, icing pen to make the lights. So I found this um, idea on Pinterest. There are so many different easy cookie decorating um, ideas on Pinterest. And then I just went ahead and packaged them up in this cute box for cookies. The Dollar Tree sells this. It comes in a pack of two. Um, and then I went ahead and added some tissue paper as well. So I went ahead and gave this to my mom. Um, to take back to her house and then I gave a box to her neighbor as well so anytime I'm baking anything around this time I always like to put the extra effort into packaging it up really cute as well so 
definitely hit up the Dollar Tree for your baking um, packaging supplies. And my kids were ready to dig into these cookies. And let me tell you something. The icing was fantastic, and Santa is not going to be disappointed with cookies like this waiting for him on Christmas so Eve. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video so I know you have enjoyed it. And make sure you check out all the other ladies in the playlist and see what they are cooking up for Christmas desserts. So I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.